Hello Gemini, welcome to your reading. We're going to be looking at who or what is coming towards you in love, uh, what you need to know about them, and where is it all headed. As always, it's a general love reading. So take what resonates for you and applies for your situation and leave the rest. Check out your playlist. I have a playlist all about Gemini readings. So uh, if you're interested in more readings for your sign, then check out the playlist. It'll be linked in the description box. And let's jump into this reading. Let's pick some energy first. Let's get some insight into who or what spirit is coming towards Gemini and loves God. Who or what is coming towards Gemini? Wow, okay, so we have burden heart. Burdens weigh heavy on the heart and then hidden feelings. Um, but we also have victory lap. So what I'm seeing here is someone who perhaps has been hiding their feelings for you, Gemini, or keeping a secret from you or a secret desire from you. Maybe they haven't been completely open or perhaps they haven't spoken to you at all about whatever it is that they're feeling. But I feel like there's some sort of success here that may be happening despite all of this. We have balancing act at the bottom of the deck. So, hmm. It's like someone's not quite sure. Then I have wedding bells and reach out and then coming together at the bottom of the deck. So someone here could already be in a connection or wants a long-term commitment with you with wedding bells and is thinking about reaching out. And I feel like whatever this reaching out is, is almost like let's meet up with coming together here. Like let's meet up. Hmm. We will see this over here actually we will see what else comes out for you spirit tell me more for gemini who or what is coming towards them in love who or what is coming towards gemini who or what is coming towards gemini Seven of Swords, we love that. <laughs> and the Fool, look at all this yellow. Who or what is coming towards Gemini? And the Page of Pentacles. Wow, and the bottom of the deck I have the Four of Wands and the Strength card. Look at all this yellow, Gemini. And then after that, the Six of Cups and the High Priestess. Let me look at my, well, I actually have here my little cheat sheet for the color yellow because I completely forgot. Of course, it's not here. Of course, of course. Anyway, okay, so I'm not going to take, look up the, the meaning of the color yellow. There's a, it's a color about optimism, um, brightness, joy, happiness. Um, I find it very interesting you have so much yellow on here. Also, we have the Fool and the Page of Pentacles. This is something completely new. This is probably someone taking a risk here, you know, having to be sneaky. Um, and it's probably because they've been hiding something regarding their feelings or regarding this offer that's coming. It's like maybe this is someone trying to be clever, strategic here because they're focused on victory. I feel like this is going to require some sort of courage here. And I really do feel this is someone from your past, Gemini, or a potential soulmate. Let's clarify. This is very exciting. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Hmm. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, someone with a Virgo in their chart. But I'm also getting like silence, quiet. I don't think this is someone you're in communication with right now. Tell me about this Seven of Swords. Okay, tell me about this Seven of Swords for Gemini. Seven of Swords. 
Yeah, this is someone that wants something with the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Oh my God. And there's a tower. See, I feel like this is going to be like shocking, surprising to an extent here. Someone's being secretive, but I, I feel like it's um because they want something. Can I get one more for this seven of swords? For Gemini. There's some insight, please. Queen of Cups. Yeah, and it's almost like this is about feelings. Can I get one more? It's like they've been hiding their feelings. And there's that Ten of Pentacles. And then the wheel. Holy crap. The wheel and the tower together is a powerful force. It's a complete 360, complete turnaround. Something that changes everything, you know? I know that that's kind of cliche, but it's the truth. Those two cards together. But I'm picking up with the Seven of Swords. It's almost like they're waiting for the opportunity that will grant them the most success. And I don't know what this Ten of Pentacles is about, but now that I saw that Wedding Bells card at the bottom of the deck... Someone could be already in a relationship here, in a commitment here. Okay. Tell me about the fool. Oh my god, that just flew out. We have judgment. Now we have justice and the eight of cups. Hmm. Tell me about the fool. Page of Swords. Can I get one more for the Fool? Where's the Fool here? The Star. They have the Temperance card at the bottom of the deck. So with these two cards, Temperance and the Star, which is Aquarius energy and Sagittarius energy, this is someone wanting to heal a connection or balance something out here. Um, this could be somebody, if they're completely new to you, Gemini, this could be somebody that's just waiting for the right time because they want their wish granted or they have some sort of desire. But the fact that I have the judgment card here, the judgment card is about the past. The judgment card is about something that has already taken place, okay? And now there's a revival, a resurrection. There's something that, um, it, it's almost like someone's gathering everything that they've learned from the past and taking it with them into the world, which leads to the fool. So I think this is very much someone who is taking a risk here to communicate with the Page of Swords. It seems like I have the Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Can you get, give me some insight into it. Okay, we have the Four of Cups. Cards are just flying out of this deck. Can I get one more for the Page of Swords? Interesting. So what I'm getting is that this is someone that's been watching. Yeah, they've been watching and desiring, but I feel like from afar. With the Page of Swords. And then we'll have the Star and the Nine of Cups. So it's almost like there's a wish, a desire. For this cup to be accepted. For you to look at this cup. Tell me about this page of pentacles. I got a page of pentacles. And it's funny, I, I don't really have a lot of swords here. Only the seven of swords and the page of swords. So one thing I get this message of there's not and, and the Seven of Swords is not a card about communication. So I feel like there's something here where there's not communication or something that hasn't been said, you know? Something that maybe someone isn't thinking too much about. It's more about action, desire, want. I feel like this is how they picture you. When they bring this Page of Pentacles, you're like, back off. Or I'm not interested. Or maybe they're blocked. What's this Page of Pentacles about? 
in the box page of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a fear here of rejection. And that's why they're working so hard. I have the Eight of Pentacles here and then the Two of Cups and then the Three of Cups. So this is someone that's really working hard to make this happen, this connection happen, this reunion happen, if there is a reunion here with the Three of Cups. Why would re you reject this person? I feel like the only, well, one of the reasons that I'm thinking of right away is you're not expecting this. This might take you by surprise that someone feels this way or or is opening up about whatever it is they're opening up. Oh my God. The lovers just flew out. There you are, Gemini. I think this person, their fear is that this partnership will not happen. This person could have walked away from you in the past. I have the Eight of Cups that showed up again here. Queen of Pentacles. Or they need to walk away from something uh, in order to make some sort of a move here. Maybe they walked away in the past to be, you know, make their own move. Some of you could have been dealing with a player or someone that played you. So let's get some insight about who this person is. Um, what do we need to know about them? Let's get the Kipper deck out here. Ooh. What do we need to know about this person, Spirit, that is either coming towards Gemini or Gemini is dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? Family room. Okay, I need to look at that. This card signifies personal space. This card describes everything that is very close. Home, privacy, your residence, your postal address, your space, your taste, your ambience, your true home. Privacy and intimacy. Huh. So I feel like once again, this message of secrecy or privacy, like this card says, or I'm... Um, it's almost like someone is not comfortable. Discussing this, but we'll see. Can I get one more about this person? Tell me about this person. That family, that family, that looking at this card, that Gemini is dealing with. Tell me about this person that Gemini is or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about them? Purity, clarity, and innocence. And Aquarius, which is the star card from the tarot. Hmm. So some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, obviously, or someone with Aquarius in their chart, but I'm reading this more about as the star, especially with purity here. Um, it's, it's almost like I'm being very spiritual energy. You know what I'm picking up? I'm picking up Gemini, bottom of the deck, I have Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, very grounded energy earthy energy it's almost like i'm picking up that you okay this is going to sound strange but you know it's bound to resonate with one of you out there you know, of course let me know in the comments if it does resonate for you gemini i feel like whatever happened with between you and this person or whatever is going to happen i feel like this person f sees you as blameless or sees you as something untainted and i feel like this is all tying into you know how, how they secretly feel about you like it's almost like this is a secret thought 
or feeling they have towards you. Um, I'm also picking up, it's almost like there is, um, there's like a wish, a hope for healing, for renewal, for something to be pure and clean again. Because right now it's not for some reason. Let's see. Tell me more about this person. Spirit, tell me more about this person that Gemini is or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? We have the chariot, cancer energy. What do we need to know about this person? Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. This is someone that wants to make you some sort of an offer and is thinking of um, of the road ahead here with the chariot, victory, success, moving forward here. I have the higher font at the bottom of the deck, Taurus energy, death card. There is the temperance card again. For some reason, I'm thinking these two are kind of connected, purity and temperance. Look at all this major arcana here. Um, Taurus, Scorpio, Sagittarius energy. Let me not get distracted. Six of cups behind that. Let's start with the chariot. Let's clarify. Tell me about the chariot. This person could be coming to visit you or lives far from you. Page of swords. I think they want to talk about moving forward here. Tell me about the chariot. Or they could be observing you from afar as well. Can I, can I get one more for the chariot? Look at this. Page of Cups, Page of Swords. This is someone expressing themselves. Could even be apologizing to you. There's feelings here. But also I feel like something important they need to say. Especially with this Ace of Pentacles. This is not a... This is a big offer or, or a big um, opportunity that someone wants or, or makes or not makes but offers to someone else can i get one more for the chariot can I get one more five of cups I'm telling you some of you this has and there's a six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the two of cups and the four of, of wands so it's almost like stability structure harmony balance especially with these two and this is about a very strong connection like a soulmate type of connection behind that i have the ten of wands this is that burdened heart energy it could be that there this has been going on for a long time or someone has been dealing with this these difficult emotions for a long time carrying it with them i feel like they want to do something about them now though you know it's something that happened in the past or some sort of disappointment this could be somebody apologizing, you know, having regrets. You, Gemini just had a reading recently about someone missing you. This would make sense here. It feels like, you know, maybe this could be connected to that reading. Check out your playlist. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. What can you tell me about this Page of Pentacles? Oh my God, the Wheel of Fortune again. And I know Geminis love this phrase, divine timing. <laughs> I know we love it. <laughs> it just keeps popping up, you know. Can I get another one for this Ace of Pentacles? This is about an offer in the right timing or an offer that causes a big change, a huge opportunity. These two cards. Can I get one more for the Ace of Pentacles? Wow, three of, of cups. This is definitely... These two cards are divine timing to a T, especially with the three of wands at the bottom of the deck, like someone patiently patiently waiting for the result of something, for something to take place here. So where is this headed? Spirit, where is this headed in the near future for Gemini? Where is all of this headed for Gemini and this other person? Where is all of this headed? We have the Knight of Wands. Oops. Where is all of this headed for Gemini? Yeah, Eight of Wands. So there's movement here, some sort of action, uh, communication. 
Can I get some more for these two energies? This is someone taking action here, making some sort of move. Ten of Pentacles. Can I get some more for this Knight of Wands? Eight of Wands. Oh my God, the Fool again. It's like this breaking free energy is what I'm picking up here. I'm telling you, the Judgment, a card again. And then the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So a lot of you are dealing with a person who wants a second chance. Um, who wants to like break free of the past and move on, move forward, have something new. For some of you, this could be somebody completely new to you, Gemini. Someone that you interact with, because I feel like this is someone who's hiding feelings for whatever reason, or you could be hiding your feelings for them, you know, feel free to flip it. But I think, I don't know, it's, it's I'm picking up that for a lot of you, this is someone who wants a new beginning but it's like they want a new beginning with someone they already know that's the energy that i'm picking up especially because i have judgment here i have the five of cups here i don't know i and the three of cups as well i can't ignore that three of cups is a card about coming together can i get one more for the fool can i get one more for the fool The Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is, I feel like this is going to happen. Um, it's like a conversation that leads to this. Oops, it's way too many. It's a conversation that like leads to a new beginning here. You know, that, that creates movement or, or motivates someone to act here. Can I get another for the Fool? Now, some of you are definitely dealing with a person who's married. You know, I have to say it. Yeah, and I feel like this is something that someone was holding on to, holding back from telling you. And then there's the Ace of Wands again. That's why it's so important. It's almost like because someone has held back, this has not happened. That's why it's so important for them to unburden themselves. Now, tell me about this Ten of Pentacles, because I feel like some of you are dealing with a person, when I saw these two cards together, it's like breaking free of a commitment. And yeah, there's the Three of Pentacles. Can you get one more for the Ten of Pentacles? Um, this could also be somebody that wants things like they want it all, like not just this Ace of Pentacles, but to get to the to the pinnacle of success with you. Can you get one more for this Ten of Pentacles? Queen of Swords. Again, communication here. It's like they want to talk, collaborate, work together. I have the Strength card. And I feel like, you know, in their mind, it's almost like they're the only ones thinking about this or imagining this type of future with you. Like, they're the only ones, like, they're not sure that you feel the same way. It's almost like they expect you to have some sort of wall up. Can I get one more for judgment? Just curious. Seven of Swords. I feel like there's something in the past, this person, yeah, Two of Pentacles. It's almost like they made the wrong choice in the past or learned from a choice that they made in the past. Um, this could also be something where someone's trying to be strategic, clever in getting you back. If this is like second chance, which I feel like for a lot of you it is. Yep, the star. The star is very important. The star is very important. I feel like this is about healing something from the past for a lot of you having some sort of renewal a second chance for a lot for I'm, i am picking that up for a lot of you let me know if that resonates for you down in the comments um i don't know if some of you are dealing in a third party um feel free to let me know that as well otherwise i'll leave it here thank you so much for watching gemini um if you'd like to leave me a like or a subscribe it really helps the channel grow and it's a free way of supporting the channel Thank you so much to everyone that does that, that leaves kind comments, and um, hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.